Good afternoon and welcome to our noon time broadcast on this Wednesday. Hope you're all well. I'm here in uh, Wicklow on this beautiful, beautiful day. Do you recognize this place? If you've been here before, recognize this view. It's absolutely stunning along the coast. The water is as clear as crystal. I've seen uh, seals on the water, seals that I've never seen uh, so chilled, they've been totally relaxing um, on this gorgeous day. But it's lovely along this coast. If you haven't been up here, if you haven't done this walk on this coastline, you're really missing something that's completely glorious. You've got to come. But look, here in front of us is a... Uh, you recognize that? It's a lighthouse. That lighthouse has been here since 1781. 1781, that's a long time, isn't it? It's octagonal. It's got eight sides, just to explain that. Um, it's quite unique. It's been here a long, long time. It's not in use today, of course, um, but it has survived such a long time. And if you want to come, you can stay here. You can rent that property out. It must be uh, a unique place to kind of stay. So when it was first built, it was powered by 20 candles. Now I don't suppose those, I don't suppose those twenty candles were the kind that you have uh, on your um, on your table um, at home, but it would have been large, twenty large candles that were reflected by a mirror, and I'm sure it must have done a good job. But originally, when lighthouses were built, they were they were powered just by fire, burning real fire, which had to be tended and uh, and, and watched over just in case anything went wrong. The lighthouse is an amazing thing. George Bernard Shaw, the Irish playwright, said, I can think of no other edifice constructed by man as altruistic as a lighthouse. They were built only to serve. Isn't that true? That lighthouse asks for nothing. It simply is built to serve. That's the rear lighthouse. The one you're seeing now is the, um, the front lighthouse. And beyond the brow of that hill is the, the modern lighthouse that is in use today. So originally they were lit by fire, but as time went on, then they became electrified. And today they are, um, there's laser lights, um, which travel for miles and miles and miles. The problem with this lighthouse in the old days used to be it was easily shrouded by fog. And then no one, no one could see it, of course. But the reason we're looking at that lighthouse today is because that lighthouse and all lighthouses speak to our lives about the important of light. Light is really important. Let's just get a bit closer through this gateway. Here we go. Oh, what a stunning day. But light is so important. Light does two things. Light can warn of danger. And that's what that's what that was doing, that lighthouse was doing. Before the, the days of light, uh, satellite navigation, um, it was the only way that ships coming close could know there was danger. So it was a warning of the rocks and of the land. But as well as that, a light can be a beacon to show the way home. There's something about the lights of home, isn't there? Can you imagine sailing across that sea and looking for the lights of home? In the Bible, light is a, is a, a major metaphor. Jesus said that he was the true light, that he was the light of the world. And he said to his disciples, and he says to us today who follow Jesus, you are the light of the world. What does that mean? What does that mean to be the light of the world? You know, the light comes from within. The only light that we have is the light of Jesus from within, for he is the true light. And we simply reflect him. Like the moon reflects the sun, so he asks us to reflect him, his light, showing in our lives. Jesus said this to his disciples, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. 
in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Jesus tells us that if we have his light, then he wants us to let that light shine brightly through our lives, like a beacon to come home, or like a warning of danger. Only the light of the world can really show us those kind of things in a dark world. Isn't that stunning here? We can't see the new lighthouse from here, but it is over in that direction. I haven't been here at night to see that light shine. But Psalm 43 says these lovely words, Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Aren't those beautiful words? Lord, that's what we pray for, that you would send out your light and your truth to all of us, to lead us closely to you, to bring us home to you. Yeah, to be in your presence, Lord, would be a wonderful thing. So here we are in the beautiful County Wicklow, beside, beside the lighthouse been a long time ago, which still stands. So I hope you've enjoyed a little trip around Wicklow, or this part of Wicklow today. And it is my prayer for you, that you would let your light shine in the darkness of the world. But remember, it's not your light, it's his light that your light shines through you. And his light shines through you in different ways that's expressed in the work that we do and the way we do our work, the way we treat our families, the way we spend our time, the way we spend our money and everything. It's an expression of his light in us. So I pray that the, his light will shine brightly in you and through you. So thanks for joining me today. Look at that lovely view. Whatever you're up to today, I hope it goes well. And until I see you again, be blessed.